Hello and welcome to this brand new tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be making a really cool frosted glass effect um yes in GIMP so go ahead and open up GIMP and just a quick wondering uh, just a quick question that is to be answered I did get a MacBook Air 13 inch and unfortunately I don't have a screen record for that currently but I will get one so it's going to be edited in of course um, the video editor that comes with the Mac which is iMovie and um, yeah not my old one which was Kden Live um, on my Linux box anyway back to the tutorial so you want to go file open and you want to open up your um, your picture you had. I found this city lights image here. Really cool, nice looking lights there. Um, really nice. And we're going to make this look like we're looking through frosted glass. So go ahead and open up a new layer. And ensure that your foreground colour is on white. And you're just going to fill this new layer in. Next, you want to lower the opacity to this layer to 30. The next step is if you're using a, if you're making just a bar, like a um, a frosted glass bar going across the center of your image, you want to go um, either to script foo, layer effects, stroke. And you want to apply a stroke of white, size 5, and position 75. And merge with layer. That's the um, stroke you want to add. I haven't used stroke in my tutorials, but it's basically like an outline very done, uh, done very quickly. So if you're doing a bar or like a circle or shapes, you'd like to use stroke. Okay, next step of the tutorial is to duplicate um, the city lights here. Duplicating the um, city lights and then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I think I'll blur mine. Maybe. 25, 25, and then create a new layer, and get your paintbrush tool, make sure it's set on a fuzzy brush, and you just want to make it pretty big, like this, and you just want to paint across the top, the sides and the bottom, and set that on overlay and that just gives it more frosted glass effect and um, there we have it our frosted glass effect in GIMP I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you next time